welcome to Tip Thursday. So I usually try to give my tips on PurseBuzz.com, but since I'm going to have a little bit more time in the next few weeks, I'm just going to start this Tip Thursday right here on video. So the very first tip is foundation. I think foundation is very important. Not a lot of us wear foundation, a lot of us wear foundation. I personally don't wear foundation every single day. I wear it on special occasions, I wear it when I have time, when I'm breaking out, or you know, just when your skin's not agreeing with you. So I struggle with foundation because my skin just does not like the product. It just likes to suck it in. And in areas, you know, sometimes when you wear foundation, it likes to sit in your fine lines around your eyes, around your smile lines, and it just really amplifies it and makes you feel a little older. And so I finally found this product that I think is great and it's really universal because there's a lot of foundations out there that I really like, like Eve Pearl has a great one, MAC Mineralize, Hyper Real, or their Studio one is really nice, uh, Prescriptives, there's some from Clinique, Almay is really nice, Revlon Colorstay translates really nice in pictures, but today I'm going to talk about OCC Makeup Airbrush Kit. So I've been mentioning this one right here, just kind of keeping, kind of getting you guys warmed up for this, but I have been using this for a long time and I'm just really, really like totally in love with this. And the greatest thing is that yes, you can only get this online or at their shows, but they have these mini kits that have a range of color so that you can try out the colors you like, find out exactly what matches you before you make that commitment to buy a larger bottle. And this is great for someone who's like starting off as a makeup artist and you want to have like a whole bunch of colors. You just get these two and you have your red bases and your yellow base and then that's all you need. And you can just mix and match. And then the next question is, I don't have an airbrush gun. Well, maybe you don't want to commit to an airbrush gun yet. Or maybe you just don't want an airbrush gun because I personally don't want to use it on myself every single day and I don't want to like you know use it and all that stuff and then rinse it and then be late for work or whatever. And like I talked about in my latest video is that you could just use this with a nice brush. So what you do is you just take this here and there's lots of different brush options too. I've been using my MAC 109 and then I've been using this Encore Makeup Angle one. This is really fun for like blush but this is another one that I really like. So these three right here are the three that I, I recommend because they are dense. This one here is the MAC 109. This one right here is the MAC 188. MAC 188 and then the Encore Stipple and Swirl one which gives you a little bit of a lighter coverage and then you just kind of buff it in. And so you can go from light sheer to full coverage with this product. So all you do is if you purchase like, see for me I'm a yellow base so I would go with either yellow 2 or like a yellow one, I think even, yeah, there's even a yellow zero in here, which is really, really light. So, the next question is, but I'm not going to be all these colors. I don't want to invest in all of these. Well, the greatest thing is you can either split it with your friend. Maybe you have a friend that has a different skin tone than you. You can either split it, or you can use these to contour. So, you got the Y0. Maybe that's too light. Use it as a highlight right here and right here, and then on your nose. A little bit of the darker color you use to contour your face. So what you do first, what I like to do is put on that one color first just to even out my skin tone and then I work in the contouring with the other colors and the highlight colors. Then you have this nice little set right here. This is $25 so I think it's a really great way for those who maybe this summer you're looking into doing some bridal work or something. 50 bucks, you bought all the colors, you know, the bride is going to look flawless, she's going to look as close as she can to airbrush makeup and you can even call it like hybrid airbrush makeup or something like that. So I think it's a great way to start. This is just kind of ideas. I personally just, I love the way it feels on my skin. It's oil free, fragrance free, doesn't make my skin break out. It, it looks really flawless in pictures and it looks really great up close too because it's so close to your skin. The texture of it is like liquid. Let me show you. It looks just like that. I couldn't tell you how many uses a little one like this works because I actually have I have like the larger ones too. The larger ones are twenty dollars each, so I recommend that you get the little one and then you just try it on. First, you put your concealer on, and then you put this. So you can see what smooth coverage that is. You can even use their primer, or you can use your own primer. Again, I really like this because it's fragrance free and it's oil free. I mean, I don't have any makeup makeup on right now. I just have a little bit of their blush which is also 
comes in one of these too. You can get six blushes, so that's great too. Like maybe you want a whole bunch of blush, but you don't have a lot of space or you don't know what colors. Then you could just pick something out like this where it has like a range of colors. It's got some, this one right here, ha these are all the highlights. So these are all frosty. There's a bronzer, there's like this peachy color, sunset, just like white frost that I have right here. And then there's an actual blush kit. So I, I recommend checking this product out. I think that $25 is a great price, great way to start to find out your perfect color. And you just get a really nice flawless finish. You just use this brush and buff it in. It takes about like 60 seconds. And that's it. I mean, it's, it's clean. It's great. You just finish it off with a little bit of powder and you're good to go. So hopefully that's helped you guys. Somebody who's like interested in airbrush makeup, but you don't want to make the commitment. $25, you could try it out. You love it. You're probably going to end up, you know, wanting the system and maybe you're going to move up, make some money as a makeup artist, you know, a little bridal work here and there. And then you could do your airbrush. You could do the, like the actual stuff. So recommend it. Check it out. There you go. That's my tip and trick is if you want an airbrush look and you don't want to commit, you can buy the airbrush product. There's different brands, of course, too, that you can check out. Um, there's Temptu. Use a brush like this, the 109 from MAC, the 188. Corn has the, it's Encore Makeup's Cheek Definer brush, which is a really nice soft brush. Great for, like, great for contouring, too. And then the Stipple and Swirl one, which is fuller than the 188, so that's why I like it better. But, of course, you know, some of you guys don't want to order in line or you just have this already. Works either way. There you go. That's my Thursday tip. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Theme song by Classic Master.